What is up, people of the internet, and welcome to another episode of Weekend in Their Garage. In last week's episode, we finally upgraded the cooling system on the Miata. We got rid of my old dinky Yonica radiator and upgraded some spa fans, and this thing kicked ass at the drift event. Kept it cool, got tons of hot laps, didn't have any issues. In this episode, we're going to another drift event, but before we go, I need to finally get the camber dialed in on this car. And I got my old camber arms back from the guy that I sold my old shell to. Um, so that's cool. These are the arms right here. Which you can see, we welded some little brackets here to utilize this cam bolt. And as it spins, it pushes the wheel out in or out. So looking really forward to getting these on. But to run these, we've got to drill out the bushing. Because as you can tell, this bolt is just a wee bit skinnier than that bolt. So we're going to have to drill this bushing out right there. But before we get into all that, I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed because today I just hit 500 subscribers. Actually, I'm sitting at 509, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 509 subscribers. So I can't thank you all enough this is amazing. We are halfway there to my goal. I'm trying to get to a thousand by the end of the year because at the end of the year, that is my year mark from when I actually started this channel. So thank you to all the new people. I hope y'all enjoy this content and the content that come in the future. Um, I hope y'all stick around. Also, if you didn't know, I have merch. Uh, I got this shirt, which there's a EF Civic on the back. I'll throw some pictures up or something. I got a sticker and I'm hoping to have more merch coming soon. Also, I plan to have some sort of giveaway for a thousand subscribers. I'm still trying to work on something. Stay tuned for that. It'll be something exciting, hopefully. But with all that being said, again, thank you everyone. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit a like, and enjoy the video. So like I was mentioning, we're trying to fix the camber on the car with those arms that I picked up. And this is from my last stripped event. And you can tell we've got a lot of wear right here, no wear right here. So I'm wasting tire, which is not good. So plan is to get those arms on, get my tire back to zero camber. I'm pretty sure I'm probably like negative three to negative five, something crazy. So we'll get that back. We'll get more grip into the car, which will hopefully get me more comfortable in the car because that's what I'm used to. That's what I've been running for probably the past two years is zero camber turbo Miata. My front's pretty much the same. So hopefully getting this back will get me back to how I know the car. First things first, like I mentioned, we gotta drill out that bushing, so let's get to that. Sorry, it's raining outside. You probably can hear the rain dribble and whatnot, but I got the arm on. Just kind of wanted to give a little just demonstration on how it works. So I can either go all the way over here and push out the knuckle, or I can suck the knuckle in, which is basically negative and positive camber, or zero camber, hopefully. So. We gotta do the other side now, and then we'll throw my alignment tool on it, and then make sure we got this at zero camber. So let's go do the other side. All right, we got this side on. Now we just need to get the wheel on there. All right, got it on the ground. Looks like we got pretty close to zero, but we'll see, I got this out. 
So let's throw it on there and see what angle we're at. So as you can see, it's got a little angle finder on there. Um, I zeroed it out on the ground. There we go, we're zero. So now if we put it up here, so it looks like we are positive a degree and a half. All this is screwed in. Yeah, we're a degree out. Okay. So, I'm gonna check the other side, see what that's at. All right, so I adjusted it. And it looks like we're sitting at 0.15 of a degree. And, oh, zero. Looks like we are pretty dead close to zero camber. That little kit, that uh, degree finder is about plus or minus, I think 0.5. So we're pretty close to zero. I'm gonna get the other side set and good and then we should be able to move on to the mirrors hopefully. The vent's a night event. So I should be able to at least get it started today and then maybe have it ready for tomorrow. I'm not stressing if not, but I do wanna at least Get them close to getting painted because I'm tired of not having mirrors on this car. It looks weird. Um, also drifting. I like to look at my mirrors so I can see what's behind me. See if my bumper is falling off or anything like that. So let's get this other side zeroed in and then we can start on the mirrors. So the mirror I started on, which was this one, ended up having Plasti Dip all over it. And it was old and junky. So internet said to use some W40 or some kind of uh, penetrating oil so i got my pb blaster let it soak and then it ended up coming off with a little bit of elbow grease so now i'm gonna clean both these up with this water base wax and grease remover um, just get a little bit cleaner before we start sanding on it then we'll hit it with some 180 and see where we're at Just mixed up the black sealer. Oh, it's black, you can't see it. <laughs> um, then I got the mirrors out here in the section. I don't want to paint in here with the air handler. Um, I need to prep it better, so I'm just gonna do it in here. There's trash, there's trash. So, I got these sanded down to 320, got them all cleaned up, got them all taped. The light in here kind of sucks, I have to bring a light in here, but I'm going to get these knocked out. I'm not gonna bore y'all with this since I've already done a lot of paint work and the lighting kind of sucks anyways. So let's get this painted. All right, so we got it painted. This is the last coat of clear on and it's dried for about 30 minutes. Looks pretty good in this dimly lit room. Hopefully it'll look good on the car. Just from looking at it right now, I think it should match. But I am sure Cody will let me know if it does not. Love you, Cody. Um, anyways, so I rigged this up. As you saw, my hood moved. Um, it was getting pretty crowded in here with all the fumes. So I was blowing that out and hopefully getting the dust out because when the air compressor kicked on, it was started to like flow over here and land on the mirrors. So. Got that done. Gonna let it set and dry tonight. Um, hopefully it'll be good for tomorrow. Uh, I gotta be in Clarksville by 4 p.m. So leaving here around three-ish. I'm hoping it doesn't rain tomorrow and I get a nice sunny, I don't know, like five hours, let them sit out there and cook because I'd really like to run them. But regardless, they're done. Um, I do have a big, big drift event coming up in Ohio called No Star Bash. If any drifters follow me, they probably heard of it. Uh, me, Cam, Cody, Tiller are going up there. Maybe Raymond and David might tag along and uh, go in the Airbnb with us, but that should be a killer event. So I'm using Clarksville as kind of like a test for the camber adjustment and then get the mirrors done. I'm really trying to have my car ready and done up for this event because it is gonna be popular. There's gonna be a lot of people there. It's my first time ever in Ohio. So I'm trying to make a statement. Hopefully people check out my channel, you know. So let's let these mirrors dry. I'm gonna go inside. I'll see you in the morning. So we got the mirrors out here in the sun baking. I think they're good to go to put on the Miata. Once I got pulled out, we're about to wash it real quick. 
Um, I've had them sitting out all morning and I'm not leaving any more fingerprints when I touch it. So I'm pretty sure we're good enough to put them on. Still gonna be soft, so it gotta be easy to make sure I don't damage them. But, looks good out in the sun. It's got some nice reflection. There is obviously some trash in it, but whatever. So like I said, got the Miata out. Also already got the truck with the trailer on it. Got about two hours, so I'm just gonna clean this up real quick, then throw on the trailer, and then we should head out. So let's get this clean. Got it all cleaned up. Also cleaned the rear bumper. Now, I'm moving on to doing the mirrors. And these are power mirrors, which those doors are manual mirrors. So I've got to get rid of this because this hole is not on those doors out there. Um, I thought about drilling it, and I was like, ah, this is just plastic. I'll just grind it down. I think that should be good. So we'll see if this works out, and hopefully I don't mess up this uh, paint job. So let's do it. Update. I think I said that was plastic. It is not plastic. This is metal. Uh, I think it's aluminum. But I got it done. I got the other one already on. I'm gonna go throw this one on and I'll show you what it looks like. And there it is. The mirrors are finally on. Uh, this one kind of took a casualty. You can see right there, uh, it fell off my bench <laughs> while I was grinding that side down. Um, other side did not take a casualty, but uh, I did not get enough paint on this side. I guess where I was laying on the wood and it ripped off when I took it off the wood. But over, other than that, it's not too bad. Pretty happy with it. Finally looks like a Miata with its wings. So now, Let's get it loaded up and let's head to Clarksville. All right, we are all loaded up. Got everything in the back of the truck. Went ahead and took the bumper. I don't know if I'll put it on, but if I do, I've got it. Spare tires, I'm not taking as many tools. I got my jack though. I probably need to grab some jack stands too, um, but I think we're loaded up. If I need anything, hopefully Cam or Cody has it. I can borrow it. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you at Clarksville. What's up, you ought to be, put a little piece of weather strip on the edge of your trailer right there. I'm always like... <laughs> that's, a, that's where I know where to pull mine up on the trailer. You can see the marks on the fender well where the driver door is hidden. Like, that's my spot right there.
Again, I would like to thank everyone who's subscribed, liked, comment, bought merch, shared my stuff. I appreciate y'all so much, and there's no way I could have hit 500 without any of y'all. So thank you so much. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and more to come. Hopefully we hit a thousand for the end of the year. That's the goal. And then work to get him a monetization. So with all that being said, I'm ending it here. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.